Presidency 2020. Your name was all over social media. How does that make you feel? Uh, I become excited because God's name is being elevated. Mm -hmm. I was really surprised to know the number of people that had given hope in church, in men of God, in prophecies. The number of messages received and people said, I stopped going to church for two years, for three years, because a man of God, Prophet Samuel, gave me a bad prophecy. Now I know that, that there are some prophets who can give good prophecies for all of them to come to pass. And now it's not about you are going to die, trouble happening to you, but now they can say good things for them to happen. Because when you read the book of Chronicles, it says, believe in God and you'll be established. But believe in the prophets and you'll prosper. Prosperity is in the mouth of the prophet. So I'm so excited that through me, people have now come to know the light of God. There are some people who have come to church, they said they stopped going to church, but now they know that God is still speaking. So I was really surprised that that's how Christianity and Christendom, especially in this nation, has got into. After that viral video, um, have you, is there an increase in the number of people coming to church? Um, a, a, a couple of people have come, but most of them to that came their friends had already told them about the church. Mm -hmm. So the moment the video came, they now said, oh, that's your pastor, that's your pastor. Because we've been here for only two years, but mm -hmm. with the grace of God, you saw the crowd, we have a lot of people, and it keeps on growing, and people are still coming. Do you know Tracy's mother? Never. Have you seen I her? I wish I, uh, I see her. You've not seen her before? No. So what brought Tracy to your church? That's the mystery. You know, it was one Saturday service, our prophetic service, and you know, you know, after preaching, you're going in there, you say that this thing is going to happen, then I give a prophecy to the lady. It was later on, I think, a day to the wedding, then one of my pastors told me that the despite Sandra was going to marry, there was a girl who came to the church, and she's the one that you prophesied to. I said, how? Mm -hmm. and, and the pastor said, the girl's friend messaged him and said to him that, please, if you or the pastor can come to the wedding, you'll be very excited. But I, said, I told the pastor that it's too late. Mm -hmm. That's how come I saw the girl. That was the first time. So after all this, and I think the pastor, I called Pastor Ezekiel, contacted them and said, we need to see them. And then they are going for honeymoon. And when they come, they will come. But the friends have been messaging, and mm -hmm. they're really excited and happy that every word came to pass. When was this prophecy given? Is it last year? I or? think uh, November 2nd or something. November, November. Last year? Last year. Oh, yeah. OK. And let's settle the matter. Yeah. This peop some people are saying that the prophecy is not true, it is true. Do you know something? Mm -hmm. When the people now say it's not true, that's when you got to understand that our mindset have been programmed, mm -hmm. but God cannot work, and God doesn't still have prophets. Mm -hmm. Because how can somebody say that the prophecy, uh, the, the prophecy is not mm -hmm. true? Because maybe the prophet knew the person somewhere. Mm -hmm. Even if, if in case the prophet even knew the person somewhere, uh, there are people that they have, re they have received prophecy and it didn't happen. Some people have dated for eight years, nothing actually happened. Mm -hmm. But it shows you that, you know, people doesn't really trust the power of God anymore. And I don't blame them, because they've been getting prophecies and none of them are coming to mm -hmm. pass. So we don't know the mother and the lady too, that was her first time over here. 